Hello folks, my name is Marvel Master and I welcome you to my second Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In the last video I showed you how to set up your Unreal Engine 4.16 for cloth editing and this video is going to be about creating a center flag and import it into Unreal Engine 4. There are two uh, additional points that came into my mind so I added them to my schedule. A video of 2.5 will be about um, the brush versus gradient tool, so I will show you the differences. And um, video 3.5, um, there I will explain the settings uh, that uh, you can um, edit in the Clove editor. So, but now for video 2, let's begin creating a flag in Blender. So I opened up Blender and uh, for the start I just um, make a little pole for the cloth flag. Just let me do this fastly. Okay, my pole is finished, so I assign a material to it or create a new material and I call it a flag hole material and I'm doing a fast sphere projection unwrap. Okay, now the interesting part is uh, to create uh, the actual flag that will be clothed later. So I'm adding just a plane in object mode. I am adding a plane. And every edit now I do in the edit mode of Blender because otherwise later the orientation of the flag will be strange. Good. Of course this now is just one simple plane and um, for um, cloth physics to be um, calculated um, this uh, needs to be subdivided, zipped, subdivided many times. So I'm doing this now. For the purpose of this video I'm just uh, going to high in subdivisions but making it triangles um, is uh, doing a better um, cloth simulation later I read somewhere. So that's why I made it triangles. Okay, now let's assign a, or create a new material for this part and call it flag. Cloth material. So, let's move this out. This is subdivided. Okay, so this is basically it. The last thing we have to do now here is to combine these two meshes, otherwise only one of them will be imported into Unreal Engine 4. So I select uh, the cloth part first and uh, shift select the pole and hit the join button so we got one mesh here. Okay, this is basically it. Uh, ready to export it. I hit file export, export it to FBX and in the export setting I choose geometry, apply modifiers to faces and armatures, don't add leaf bones. Okay, now let's choose the location for the set and this will be in the fourth tutorial and let's call it black tutorial. Okay. Export it to FBX and now I can open my Unreal Engine 4 editor. We already set up, set it up in the, in the last video, so we can straight import the new FBX asset. I suggest creating a new folder, calling it uh, uh, Black Tutorial. And right here I am doing right click and import an FBX asset. And here we have it. Open it. 
And uh, this now is interesting. Uh, of course, uh, I didn't add any bones to it, so it basically is a um, static mesh. But uh, for Kilov to be working, it must be a skeleton mesh. So uh, the simplest uh, solution for this is now just check this box and import as skeleton mesh without any further doing. Just import all. And uh, because uh, there's no bones, no bind powers here, we get some errors, but uh, let's ignore this for now. So as you can see, a skeleton has been uh, created with basically one bone. And this bone we will use for the collusion of the pole later. So let's um, just uh, do a fast, a fast um, setup of the materials. Setting up the, the pole as brown and the, the flag, let's say we make it blue, dark blue, or light blue. Okay. Um, for here, for better uh, visualization, uh, we have to choose double-sided or two-sided. Otherwise, it won't be it won't be uh, visible from one side. Okay. Hit apply. And now in the skeletal mesh editor, you should see our flag. Now before editing or doing cloth paint, we have to set up the physics asset. As you can see, this is one uh, collusion uh, cylinder of um, of um, our mesh, and we use this to align it to the pole for collusion later. Make it a little bit smaller. Align it to the pole. So for the purpose of this tutorial, this should be enough, I think. Um, let's make it kinematic, so it uh, does not move later. And uh, enable gravity, we don't need. Collusion re response has to be um, activated, I think. Hit save. And we can close this window, and now we can uh, step into the cloth editing. So in the cloth editing, or, or Skeleton Mesh Editor, we now can push the Section Selection button and here you can select the materials we uh, assigned in Blender. And of course we want our flag part to be uh, cloth, so we select the flag, right click and create a set from section. We, uh, you can uh, give a name, a special name for it if you like, but I choose the, the basic one here. And uh, you have to choose the physics asset, and then in this case it's factorial physics asset, and hit create. So now the the cloth asset that has been created must be applied to our flag, and we are doing this by again right click, apply clothing, clothing asset, and choose the created asset. Now um, it's compiling shaders, but shouldn't talk, took too long, take too long. Now the interesting part is the cloth paint tab. Here you can uh, push the button and add the cloth paint tool and a set select our flag tutorial clothing asset. So here we are in the clothing paint editor. At first let's um, do it with our brush. So we can just set the radius of the brush, let's say uh, 30. Okay, it's a good size and uh, the paint value. This is basically the, the distance that the single vertices can move later. So in this case I will, well, I always choose 1000 to make sure um, I have the free, free um, motion of the flag. Okay, now uh, I paint everything that I want to be Simulated 
and when I get near the pole, of course, I don't want the end to be simulated because um, if I uh, paint everything, the flag would just fall on the ground. Okay, this should uh, be basically it. Now I can uh, press the Enable Paint Tools button again, and as you can see, the cloth is simulated. Okay, now to check if um, the flag is really simulating, we save this all and place the flag into workspace and add a wind source, a wind direction source. And uh, let's start with the basic values, uh, strength and speed 0 0.1 if this works. Well, it seems uh, not, be, not to be strong enough, so let's say strength of 10. Okay, still not strong enough. Okay, let's say 500. I think I have to uh, increase the speed too. Okay, yeah, you are. Uh, you have to really uh, play with, it, with, with these values um, to uh, get um, um, the right things you want. Okay, here we are. Here we have the flag. It's simulating, it's uh, flowing in the wind. And um, if you uh, go into a higher poly count in, in Blender, it would be definitely smoother. Okay, I think this is it for this video tutorial. Now you know how to create a, a flag or a cloth asset in Blender and uh, import it into Unreal Engine 4. I hope you liked this video. Um, if so, consider giving it a like or subscribe. If you got any questions, um, write a comment below. And then I would say see you in the next video.